Hello everyone. Welcome back to The Encouraging Word. My name is Jeremy Henderson, and I'm blessed to be the pastor of the Butler Church of the Nazarene right here in Butler, Missouri. And today, we're going to take up where we left off last week. That is, in terms of discovering how to find real peace at Christmas. Last week, we discovered that to truly experience peace with God and with ourselves and with others, we need to reach a moment of clarity. Well, the second step that we must take is expressing an attitude of humility. God blesses humility. The Bible says in James 4, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Grace is the favor and the blessing of God that we all need in order to experience peace in our lives. God opposes the prideful, but He gives grace to the humble. So, in many ways, to experience peace with ourselves, with God and others, we must exchange our vanity for His serenity. Now, one of the things that I've found in my reading of the Scriptures is that while God hears our whining, He's not impressed by it. Humility, on the other hand, humility touches God's heart. When we humbly ask for God's help, He opens the floodgates of heaven and He pours out His mercy. You see, humbly admitting that He is God and that we are not, that is a great antidote for stress. Isaiah 26, 12 shares, Lord, you will grant us peace. All we have accomplished is really from you. Now, when was the last time that you really considered that reality? You know, the only reason that you and I are alive right now is because God made us to love us. If God hadn't wanted to love us, none of us would be here right now. You see, you were made by God and you were made for God, and God wants you to learn how to love Him back. So if you want peace, real peace, you need to come to God and say, Lord, I admit that all I am and all I have, everything really, is yours. You hold it all together and not me. You created my life and I humbly admit that I need you and that I'm yours. See, here's the reality. All of us are broken in some way. Other than Jesus, every person who has ever lived has been broken. It's why we don't have peace. It's why we walk around with stress. It's why we're sick and tired of being sick and tired. It's why we can't solve all of our problems. To have peace, we need to humbly admit to God that we are finite, broken creatures in need of His filling and grace. You see, there's no finding peace without doing that. And believe it or not, the Bible gives us a practical way to express humility in Philippians 4, 6. Paul says, don't worry about anything. Now, I know, it sounds impossible. It's one of the most difficult verses in the Bible to obey. We break it so often. One of the things I'm learning, though, is that worry is actually assuming a responsibility God never meant for you to shoulder. God is God. We are not. And if God tells us not to worry, that means He'll help us to stop worrying so we can experience His peace. And it all starts with humility. Well, I hope this devotion has encouraged you today. I also hope that you'll join me on Sunday morning at 10.30 a.m. at Butler Church of the Nazarene. I hope you'll join us for our morning worship service. Or come and join us on December 24th at 6.30 p.m. for our Christmas Eve service. We'd love for you to be our guest. And I'm certain that if you'll do that, you'll discover that God loves you and that you belong at Butler Church of the Nazarene. God bless you all, my friends. Have a great rest of your week, and Merry Christmas.